Both families were nervous before meeting each other, but their common bond ended up being the heart donor, Thomas Scharenberg, an adventurous 31-year-old man who passed away in an ATV accident in 2016. A heartbeat. To some, it's just the pulsing of blood through the body. But for the Scharenberg and Tibbetts families, it's a connection they will always share. Uh, the last time I can remember hearing his heart when he was a little boy in, in my arms. When Frank Scharenberg's 31-year-old son Thomas died, the family followed his wishes to be an organ donor. And Don Tibbetts received Thomas's heart. On April 9th, I received my gift of life. A bittersweet moment for Tibbetts, realizing someone had to lose a loved one for her to get a new heart. The really hard part was we found out that my daughter, Tom, is exact same age as our son, Kyle. It was important for Don to meet and learn about Thomas's family. He liked to golf. He liked yeah, golf. he liked to golf. And I tried to teach him to be a fisherman because I loved to do both. As they flipped through family photo albums, Tibbetts learned for the first time about Thomas, while his father got a chance to reflect. He was a Dallas fan from the time he was six years old. Oh, yeah? And I could not convert him to a Packer fan. <laughs> now the families are able to share a bond beyond their own journeys in the hospital through the donation process. We thank God, and we thank Tom every single day. And in his life, he always told me, you wanted to do something great. And, and uh, like it helped me with the healing process. Before the Scharenbergs left, Tibbetts gave them a gift, a wind chime to remember Thomas, saying, perhaps the wind is the immortal spirit of those who are gone, and a wind chime their instrument to touch the living soul. A wind chime and a heart that now beats for a mother, grandmother, and a loving wife so she can now live a healthy life. Wow, Emma, definitely an emotional story. I can't imagine what it was like for those two families meeting for them, you know? Definitely, exactly. Now, does he, Tom's family, does do they plan on meeting other uh, donors? You know that he had donated many organs. Right, so um, Don was actually the first one that they met. And so uh, Tom's dad, Frank, is now thinking about meeting others. Um, he says it's been a really powerful way for him to both heal and mourn at the same time. Okay.